As the curtain pulled from the stage, the group Young at Heart began their late December concert performance with a song from Bruce Springsteen called Dancing in the Dark. They were brought here by the Happer Horsham Educational Foundation as one of their community outreach programs. We brought them here in 2009. They were a big hit. Um, and we just brought them back again um, today to entertain the community tonight. And tomorrow they'll be at Keith Valley Middle School working with the sixth grade chorus. What a great opportunity for us to expose the kids in Happer Horsham to people in their 70s, 80s, and 90s who are still being vibrant and doing things with their lives. The course has actually kept me younger than I would be because I'm, I'm primarily a couch, couch potato. So after I retired, I said to my wife, I said, I'm going to be dead in six months, get the casket ready. But then this came along and I've enjoyed every minute of it ever since I've been here. So. I just think that they should never stop and they should just do everything that, yeah, uh, yeah. The group Young at Heart keeps moving. They travel around the United States and the world. Well, this year we went to Belgium and Holland, and we went to Norway. Traveling, performing, and meeting people on the road is an experience Young at Heart members cherish. In fact, it ranks very high amongst their experiences. It is at the top of the list, right up there with the birth of my children. Yeah, really and truly. I, I thank God every day for bringing me to the Young at Heart Chorus. What do you uh, it's been an ex exhilarating experience for me. I, I really have enjoyed every minute that I've been in the, in the group. And I had given myself two years, and when the two years was up, I told her that I was leaving. <laughs> So she kind of talked me into not, not leaving the group. And he's so glad he didn't. But there is one thing, girl, I can guarantee. It's my love, you got my word. Young at Heart members like John and Shirley show young people how vibrant and full of life seniors can be. Happer Horsham High School students from the Magical Singing Group and members from clubs got to meet and participate in this event. We had high school students helping with this production on a number of events. Um, there were kids who were doing the tech side that worked with Pete Barsky. In addition, we had a number of kids from different clubs and different organizations at the high school who came this afternoon and they helped us with ticket sales, giving out programs, helping backstage. So they're an important part of, of us being able to put on this production. To kids who are in high school and are in middle school, set, being 70 years old must seem like ancient but as you as you and I know <laughs> you get there before it, it, the years go quickly and it will give I think the kids it gives them an idea that you know whatever they're thinking about now they they have many years ahead of them and there's many things they can do with their lives and when they're 85 years old they could be singing on stage they they could be they could still have have many opportunities as a result through the concert reception and meeting with the group members and middle school students the Happer Horsham Educational Foundation found a way to enlighten the Happer Horsham community and its students that life can be vibrant in later years of life.